when you have followed my channel you will surely know that I was busy with mini AM amplifiers to say uh, make an old radio for AM the AM band going from say 600 kilohertz up to 1.6 megahertz uh, to make them usable again in such a way that you can connect to such a small transmitter a smartphone perhaps even uh, a dongle for Bluetooth etc etc this is a kit that I ordered from Ali want to show my experiences with that kit here's the radio where I'm receiving the music from this old telephone that works as a um, mp3 player this is a schematic I think that's important to show what were my experiences with this kit well it was not easy to make it that's the first thing to tell uh, I had to be very very careful uh, searching out the the right components uh, I also measured all the resistors first before I soldered them in that was necessary so you can, you can easily make a mistake when you do this there were were a few very strange things in that kit um, this resistor potentiometer was not 50k 50, 50,000 ohms but 2k 2,000 ohms this resistor here this resistor was not 50 kilo ohms but 10 kilo ohms because it's not critical in this part of the circuit um, it doesn't hinder this capacitor was lacking in the kit and also here this potentiometer this one here was not in the uh, the kit so furthermore um, everything was quite okay very important to tell is that uh, when you buy this kit be very very aware of the fact that this transistor it's the end transistor the transmitter transistor uh, must be soldered in properly with the base collector and emitter in the good order and then the cooling plate here to the top looks a little bit when you look here at the at the drawing you could think here's the drawing You could think that this transistor, uh, say, has mounted in an other way because they don't show the, the proper way of soldering it in. But of course, uh, look closely at the pin connections. And from that type of transistor, when you look at the front, it is always ACB, emitter collector base. Well, let's listen. I have some copyright free music. Does it work? Yes, it works. This is the result. Antenna here of approximately 60 centimeters. Move the radio away. So, I have connected It works quite nice I have connected uh, this evening an antenna of 6 meters That's of course a big antenna You will get a much bigger reach I don't advise it anyway uh, The only idea is that you can play music uh, over old AM radios perhaps even tube radios is there more noise compared to my original schematic that I've developed myself I don't know have to test that 
these are say the first results. The transistor, transmitter transistor gets a little bit warm. That's not wrong. Let's play another music. So it works quite nice. I have to do a noise test. Uh, more about the schematic. Of course, such a schematic uh, must be in a certain way. Good, and then when I say good, I mean that it must confirm to the regulations that are everywhere. Uh, when you want to operate an AM transmitter in this frequency band, say the medium wave, here is the output filter to the antenna. It uh, presses down the harmonics out of the oscillator. When I read the, uh, the text, it is um, a classical grounded bass oscillator. Well, that seems okay to me. Anyway, and here of course a filter unit from the power supply here via these two coils and all these caps to filter out uh, perhaps the noise from the uh, mains. But more important to prevent that the oscillator uh, also sends the AM signal on the power supply lead. So that's the use of this filter. Furthermore, there's not so much more to tell. Thanks for watching. Dave, you see a, a real audio, powerful, quite powerful audio chip to give this enough um, AM, uh, to AM amplitude to the transmitter. Um, of course, standard things to tell the, the depths of the modulation here, the depths of the modulation here also, the frequency settings, this I have not tested up until now, and I found that there are here two 470 ohms resistors and they seem to go nowhere. I could not find on the print where they go to, but anyway it works. So there must be, say, from this this point on the print somewhere a connection to the uh, AM modulator chip. Again, thanks for watching. This is a kind of issue, you hear a small beep on the background. It has to do with the trimming of the here the oscillator call perhaps it has a small bandwidth anyway no no that exactly of course so we can trim here trim that now it's on another frequency this is the proper Dreaming. Thanks again.